Artificial intelligence is enabling rapid and affordable solar production here in Australia. Currently in Australia, about 90% of our solar panels and modules come from China. They're very affordable, they're very cheap. But artificial intelligence is changing that. And within the next five years, panel production in Australia could significantly replace much of our cheap Chinese solar. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Artificial intelligence is enabling rapid and reliable solar cell production here in Australia, says Interesting Engineering. Australian researchers are using artificial intelligence to make perovskite solar cells, which are cheaper and more efficient than silicon cells. And they're being made very quickly and very efficiently. This is game changing. Here in Australia, we don't manufacture very much. Most of what we, we buy comes from China. China's not very far away. Things are made very cheaply there. Um, not always the greatest quality. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. However, that could be about to change. A team of Australian researchers has used artificial intelligence to create solar cells from a mineral called perovskite in a matter of weeks, saving years of human effort and trial and error. Artificial intelligence is absolutely changing the game for manufacturing. The study's lead author, Dr. Nastaran Meftahi from RMIT University School of Science said, perovskite cells were cheaper and more efficient. They're, basically, they have a higher energy density than traditional silicon cells and had recently become stable enough for long-term use. One of the biggest problems with perovskite solar cells was that they wouldn't last very long. The material just wasn't very durable, but that has changed recently. Making perovskite cells has been more like magic than science. Some people have achieved amazing results, but no one knows how to repeat them, she said. We've developed a method that can quickly and reliably make and test new solar cells, where each generation learns from and improves on the previous one. The key thing that's enabled that to happen is artificial intelligence, computing power. The researchers who are part of the Center of Excellence in Exciton Science based in RMIT, Monash University and CSIRO have eliminated human error by using AI to design and optimize solar cells. They've developed a new machine learning model based on the data generated by their system that can predict thousands of potential chemical combinations for new perovskite cells. A multi-million dollar automated facility for solar cell production led by Dr. Adam Sumiak at Monash University and Professor Udo Back at the Australian Centre for Advanced Photovoltaics and CSIRO is being built to use this model. The team's work, published in the prestigious journal Advanced Energy Materials, has produced perovskite solar cells with a power conversion efficiency of 17%, the highest known result achieved without human intervention. So the, the highest known result achieved through essentially mass manufacturing, you know, through having machines make them. Having a 17% efficiency that can be reproduced is much better than having a 30% efficiency that can't be replicated, said the researchers. Productivity reproducibility has been a big problem for human and AI-based perovskite cell development approaches in the past. That's changing. Our machine learning model is not the end point, but the starting point for further improvement, both in terms of efficiency and stability, they said. Using their innovative system, Sermiak's team created and tested 16 new solar cells that had never been seen before. And Meftahi used these cells to predict the properties of 256 new solar cell recipes. Then Adam and his group, she said, made 100 more new solar cells, and that allowed me to predict the properties of 16,000. At Monash University, they will soon be able to make 2,000 different solar cells per day. We are getting closer to the stage where we can predict the properties of millions of cells. No one else can do that with their machine learning model because they would need more data before they make the cell, they said. So what are the next steps? What's going to happen as a result of this technology? this machine learning. Meftahi said the machine learning model and the automated system could be applied to other types of solar cells, such as even silicon or even organic cells as well. We are eager to collaborate with industry partners to further test and prototype our work so that it can potentially be commercialized in various applications. Now that's the key here. It hasn't yet been commercialized. The key here from the team though is they're saying they can mass produce perovskite solar cells 
without any, you know, without any production problems and having some cells be crappy, some cells be good. Currently making mass manufacturing perovskite cells is just, it's very, very challenging. They're saying now they've solved that challenge. If that is in fact true, it's very likely that other partners, manufacturing partners that exist here in Australia will mass produce these cells. Unfortunately, at this point in time though, that has yet to have happened. It could in the future. Let's hope it does in 2024. Thank you for watching.